basically I'm at the, uh, the 12th fret, in E tuning, sometimes called Vastapole, and tuning low to high, E, B, E, G sharp, B, E. It's like playing a big E chord down here, but it's tuned, so you get that open. And the thing I love about the uh, using these tunings is it, it really does open up the sound of the guitar and you can get a lot more going in the way of harmonics and overtones, especially sympathetic tones. I, I'll show that up in a minute too and how you can work that into playing uh, more melodically in those kind of lines that are very lyrical. <clears throat> For example, if I were playing a, a line like this. Sweet, but if you leave it open back here and work the palm of it, so these pick up some of these other tones. It's much more, has a lot more vocal quality about it, and uh, it's a more complex sound. I think it makes it a lot more interesting. And the thing that's really cool about that, you can work your way around the fretboard and find those sweet spots and the ones that really bloom and open up. And it can get ugly if it gets out of control, but that's probably fun anyway to get a handle on that. So if you're combining something like that with fretting behind the slide, um, you can sit at the 12th fret and get basic like a four chord and E. Right back here. Get a four chord, here's a five chord. That's how I first discovered this whole thing. Really, I was frustrated in, in a blues band. I could see the minor uh, third, which in a key of E would be a G, natural, and usually playing these shapes for a band of blues band. And I was trying to figure out a way that I could get that minor out the chord and being able to see it back there, and that's what kind of just caught me on it. And once so I realized like, that, yeah. I got to open the door on these other. So things. describe exactly what you did there for somebody who's never seen this technique. You dropped one finger. And, right. So I'll let you describe it. Go ahead. Well, the thing of it is, you, you want your action up just high enough that you get uh, the, all the notes that you're going to. Uh, Float with a slime and that won't touch the neck, right? With that big open sound. It's all six strings. But if you reach your finger back, say for about two frets, in this case, we'll, we'll go for a seventh note. So here's the E. Fret. Go back two frets. And what happens is there's just enough room to fret back here. This string goes underneath the slide. So you get a combination of the fretted note, this fretted E, and then all the other strings are floating. And that's the idea. You can work your way up from uh, behind the slide like that and get some results. thing I'd 
like to point out is that when you normally think of playing slide, you think of the glass, of course, on the strings like we just played. On each individual string. And that's one reality. The other reality, of course, as we talked about, is fretting behind the glass. But there's also overtones and actual notes back here as well. So if I'm playing again at the 12th fret, you have this note, you have the note here. And what I'm doing is I'm actually plucking the string, but it's on, on this side of the, the glass on the back side. a very different uh, quality about it and it gives a more dimensional sound. You can actually combine those. Oh, that evil third. And, uh, and combine those with um, fretted notes as well with the glass. And if you take this at the 12th one, so we style approach was uh, Ch uh, Chet Atkins style and basically um, the third finger controls the first string and we go down each one the second finger the second string the first finger the third string and the thumb controls the bottom three for the bass lines and uh, what's really great about this is that it enables you to um, embrace the guitar as a solo instrument with multiple parts. Uh, when you begin to work on it, get really um, a little more comfortable with it. And, um, and I think that is really a big part of, of the sound that I came up with. It really set me on my path. And the other part of it is finger guarding. When you want to get rid of some of these unwanted sounds, any uh, string that's not being used, then a finger rests on it just enough to keep it from sounding. So if I didn't do any of that, I just let it fly. So you can make it ring by picking it up. You can also clamp down and hold just enough to block those that you're not playing. As soon as I get to the next string, I finger guard that one and the third string, and so forth down, all the way down. <laughs> 